Sutra Kit. This Sutra Kit is from Sutra Skills. Um, I'm really excited about it because it is a Sutra Kit that was made by an emergency medicine PA, which is so cool because it's somebody that's in the field that I'm trying to get into. They contacted me and they were like, hey, you know, can you just do a review, an honest review of our product? Um, I'm not being paid uh, to do this at all, which I'm more than happy to oblige because I'm going into my general surgery rotation and I'm going to need all the practice that I can get. So this is coming in quite handy at this moment. And for those of you who are thinking about being surgeons or general surgery PAs, or you're going into your own general surgery rotation, you have the opportunity to win this suture kit as well. Um, you can enter my giveaway at Adana the PA on Instagram. Just go on over there. Or you can buy the suture kit yourself in the description box. There will be a link where you can go directly to Amazon to purchase your own suture skills suture kit. But you can look at me right now, review this, do this, see how it kind of stands up to some of the skin that I've already sutured on and some of the other suture kits that I've practiced on. I'm excited, let's get into it. All right, so this is Suture Practice Kit and Pocket Guide. So it says Educational Suture Pocket Guide. I'm really excited to see what that is. Um, it has professional sutures, tools, carrying case, skin suture pad, and um, access to multiple online suture training videos. Oh, okay, that's really cool. Oh, look at this. So thank you for your business, um, James and April. So they are the creators of this Suture Skills Suture Kit. So thank you so much, James and April, for this. Here is the Suture Pad, dude. Oh, and that's really cool because it's already pre, um, pre kind of, uh, I guess, lacerated. Like they get, they've already gone through and actually made the different incisions. Um, so here it has like a little common suturing technique part where it talks about um, the simple interrupted, the running. This is typically what you're gonna do a lot of, these simple interrupted um, sutures. A running uh, subcuticular, that's when you don't want the suture on the top. You just kind of want to close it but make it look, heal by itself. Um, and then vertical mattress and horizontal mattress, which are all sutures that I learned in my month before actually going on rotation. So, I mean, they're pretty on par with knowing what we need to know, um, generally speaking, going in. All right, and then it gives you actually tips for the different skin closures. So, it's here in this little... Thing. I already like this suture kit um, so it comes it has like your epidermal layer and then your dermis and stuff going down your sub Q and your dermis so it has the layers it feels very very sturdy you guys um, it doesn't seem like your suture is just gonna rip through the actual like skin like material which is really cool because I've practiced on some kits where my needle, when I put it in, it doesn't hold up to the stitch. Uh, it kind of just rips right through. So, excited about this. This is the kit that it comes with. Um, will hold all your sutures, obviously. So it has my scissors here, um, needle driver. That's nice little, I like this. This is really nice, you guys. It's velvet, so they've taken time to actually like make sure that this looks really good. Um, so we have some forceps here, rat tooth forceps. Um, and then this is actually for your scalpel. Um, I don't need a scalpel since it's already pre-lacerated. I guess if I wanna go a little bit deeper into um, some of the deeper layers, I can make that hole a, a little larger. So I might do that so I can do like a sub stitch. And then these are just kind of go in and break up tissue. This is what we use that for a lot. 
Okay, so these are the different things that comes in the kit. So they have some sutures here for us. Um, I'll need my scalpel, my needle driver, scissors, and my forceps. Now, I remember like, if you guys have seen my other suture video, I talked about these pickups where I said I didn't really like them because they had the tooth, but actually, like I really do like them. When you're suturing in real life with like, actual skin these are a so much better of a pickup to use um, they cause less damage even though you think that they're going to cause more damage because of the teeth they actually don't because you don't have to put as much tension on the skin to pull the skin together to actually like make your incision and stuff and I learned that from a really really smart trauma surgeon so just a heads up on that. Um, as you get more practice, obviously you're gonna understand and feel what you like, but I like these a lot better than I did when I originally started suturing. So it has all of these different types of uh, sutures, your nylon, um, it has silk braided, um, monofilament, again. So this is polyproline, propylene silk again. Um, so when you are choosing which type of suture to actually like use, um, that's essential. That's something that you have to know. Uh, I didn't quite know it when I went on my trauma rotation. I think I mentioned that before. So I had to go and do my research on why I would do a polyfilament, you know, with respect to, to a monofilament, why I, I would choose one over the other. And so it's all, I mean, it's all kind of preference, I guess you could say, but also with respect to that, it's dirtiness like if it's a dirty wound you don't necessarily want a polyfilament uh, suture okay so I'm gonna use this polypropylene um, this is a 3L so I'm gonna use that it's an absorbable suture oh, sorry you guys like look at me doing this the wrong way end up like that this out and let's do some suturing so this is a really huge needle right this is a 3-0 right so I don't think I, I actually don't think I want to use that one let's see if there's one that's a little bit smaller so the larger the number like 5-0 the smaller um, the thread in the needle Okay, so we'll do like a, we'll do a four. Let's see what that one looks like. And I think I want the, the proline if they have one. Yeah, let's do a four. Okay. So I use like when I was doing my suturing in the trauma, depending on if it was on the face or something like that, I've used 5-0 and 6-0 needles. They were a lot smaller. Um, the thread itself was smaller as well. See, do you see the difference, you guys? So let's just put that up there so you guys can see the difference. Larger needle, a little bit of a larger thread, smaller needle. Proline um, is usually blue. It's really nice for when you're doing like sutures, um, facial sutures and things of that nature because it's easy to see. So, um, you know, when somebody has to come through and suture later on, um, like remove your sutures, it's easier for them to see those blue sutures than like a black suture because that gets all crusty and dirty in the wound. Okay, so let's just do like a simple interrupted for you guys. Here's the simple interrupted. It's just literally going in one um, side of the suture coming, um, the laceration coming out the other side and then tying the knot. So that is what I'm gonna do. I'm going to need my needle, uh, my skin, like my pickups and my scissors. So these are really good on these kind of like straight sutures, so straight thing, um, lacerations. So usually they always tell us like go into the middle. Not always the case when um, dealing with real tissue and real lacerations that are a little bit. I always line up my suture and I try to take my time as much as possible. 
because I want it to look good. So this is it. We'll move this off to the side. Obviously you will have a sterile field, so it doesn't really matter where your needle ends up as long as it's on the sterile field. You always do a double knot, so you twist it around two times the first time, get to the edge, and then you pull it through. So let's do that and you cross over on the side so that it's a flat knot. So as I pull that, so proline, like it's because it's that kind of like plasticky feel, it's a lot, it's not like your silk. So it's going to, it's not gonna stay as easily as before, you see that? So that's not really a good one. So I like, I maybe let's try it on something that's a little bit better in terms of a thinner one. But you would, if you use a silk, the knot holds a lot easier. So let's, let's try that again. We'll go in this thin one, but I really love the way that it went through that skin pad tissue. Like it doesn't break, it's really easy to make the incision. And this way I can just go straight in and out. We'll do the same pull, but I'm guessing it's gonna be a lot easier to hold it this time. Can you see that? So that's something that you can learn as well, you know, that you don't wanna use these proline on lacerations that are really, really huge because you want you want the actual tie to like bring and approximate the edges together. So that is, that's how this one looks. I really like that, you guys. Let me use a silk braid so I can show you exactly what I was talking about. I'm really liking this suture kit, you guys. April, thanks, you guys did a really good job because it's, it's so easy to actually go through the suture kit. It's my, there's no, you can't even see a hole where I put my last suture in. Like you can't even really see that. Look at that, you guys, that's really good. I've had suture pads where it's like eaten up. You see the holes, like you cannot go into that, um, that laceration again to try to make a new, um, a new, a new suture. All right, so here's silk. Silk is black, like I was saying. Um, it's polyfilament, it's like, Got like seven little tie um, strings that makes this one string together. Um, you'll see what I mean about how it holds up the the tie a lot easier than your proline. But same simple interrupted suture. Silk is more so like what you would think of regular sewing thread and needle is like, you know, it's that's the kind of feel that you get. So I come in, you usually go one. Oh, look at that, guys, it made me a liar. It's loose again. Let me cut that and, and try it again. But you usually go in once on the second and third rounds when you're tying off your knot. And that, you, did you see how I went in right underneath there and just pulled? That's how you usually will take out a suture as well. So when you're going in and you have to remove sutures, you're gonna hold this edge, like you know, you're gonna find it with your pick, um, you'll usually have like some tweezers or something in your suture removal kit, but you'll find the knot, the actual tie off, and then you just go right in underneath the knot and you snip it and you pull it out and that's how you'll remove your sutures. So this is good to practice that as well. Let's see if I can not be a liar again and just go right through. I guess it's also all like just even 
as you go through, the more practice you get, it's as it's how hard you pull that knot through, you know? Like how taut, like you don't want to strangulate the skin. So that's something that I've learned a lot of. Also when doing this, it's easy to pull tight on these suture pads because it's not, it's not, it feels similar to skin and in, in the kind of give that it get, it allows you to have, but it's not really the same type of tissue feel, you know? So you're going to tie it tight because you want that knot to stay, but that's not what you're going to do when you are actually suturing because you don't want to strangulate the skin. You want the skin to actually have um, room to like, like for the swelling to go down and breathe and all of that stuff. And so sometimes there's a little bit of give when there's edema there. There's a little bit of give for you to t to tie it a little bit tighter, but it's not always the case. But there you go. There's my little simple interrupted. I mean, this is really good. I'm gonna try one more um, throw for you guys. I'm gonna do a vertical mattress. Um, I use this a lot also in the trauma. And it's for more of these types of sutures that are um, these lacerations that are a little bit larger because you want to go very far, very far, very near, very near is what my trauma surgeon told me. It helps to kind of bring everything in your deeper layer and then also your superficial layer. So it's for your deeper lacerations. But so far, so good. I'm really liking this, you guys. Like, this is actually good. I'm gonna use, a, use this a lot, especially during this rotation, because like I said, I'm gonna be on my general surgery rotation and I'm gonna be needing to do a lot of suturing. So here's my last um, throw that I'm gonna do for you guys. I'm going to do, uh, do it with the silk. I'm gonna do a vertical mattress, okay? So he said you go very far. Right? And you'll come up. So you have to like get into the subcuticular area for these vertical mattresses. And you want it to line up as well because you don't want an ugly looking suture. Like this is all about like aesthetic. Like sometimes it's, yeah, I want it to just, I want the wound to heal, but no, like you also want it to like look pretty good while it's healing. So it's very far right there, and now you have to go very near, and you're in the epidermis because you're just trying to approximate those edges as best as you can. So very near. That's the one thing about these wrap to pick ups. Like trying to get the actual suture. All right, and so then you pull this together. And as you pull it together, you should be able to approximate these edges all the way through. Let's see. Let's get the edge of this. Pull it, there it is. Pulling it together. And so again, so this, like I said, these suture pads, the tissue is like a little bit tougher than your regular skin. Like the skin will approximate a lot better than this in terms of staying there when you do the initial pull. But this is, I just and that's the one thing about silk as well how easily it like tears apart who wants that oh, I don't but I'm gonna go again pull it through there it is vertical mattress for you coming through you guys look at me all right so that's it that's cool I really like this suture kit, you guys. I'm gonna be doing a lot of practicing on it. 
Um, maybe just putting up a little bit more videos of me actually practicing on this suture kit on Instagram, slowing down my throws and um, the different suture styles for you guys if you want to learn with me as I'm going through this process in general surgery. But April and James have made a really good product. Thank you guys so much for allowing me to act, um, do this review on it. I really like it. Like I said, um, it holds up really, really well to the sutures. You can see that um, some of the places where I put in my sutures, you cannot see the hole, which I really like. So that means I can use this over and over again for a fairly long period of time. I love the different layers that I can go through um, with my scalpel and, and get these different new layers here to get further into the dermis and the, um, the subcuticular areas, um, which is good for your subcuticular stitches. Um, and I like all of the various different suture um, lacerations that they have here that you can practice on. Obviously, like, because I've done lacerations like this where it may need just like three or two lacerations to approximate those edges. So it's really good to practice on varying laceration types. And this Suture Pad does a really good job of kind of simulating that. So thank you guys so much for allowing me to review this. Again, if you are interested in winning your own Suture Skills Suture Pad and Suture Kit, go ahead right now to my Instagram page at PA for the details on how you can enter to win my giveaway. Or you can purchase your own by going to the description box below um, where it will take you to a link directly to the Amazon page where you can purchase your own Suture Skills Kit. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, leave it in the comment section below. If you haven't already done so, go ahead and subscribe and follow me on Instagram. And I'll talk to you guys next time. Thanks, James and April. Bye.